Yes, welcome back on the Touchline. Time to get into a discussion, first discussion of uh, the afternoon. And I'm pleased to have uh, Stephen Kariuki, the head of uh, brand and communication from Loop DFS. And we're here to talk about the Loop Safari Gravel Series, one of the off-road cycling events in the country. Karibu sana, Mr. Stephen Kariuki. Thank you so much, Bernard, for having us. Yes, indeed. And basic question will be, why did uh, the uh, Loop get into uh, cycling? So, thanks. Uh, thank you so much for having us. And uh, yeah, we are happy to be here. Mm -hmm. So uh, in regards to your question about uh -huh. getting into cycling. So uh -huh. for us, cycling is something that we felt actually related uh -huh. to our, our service. Huh? At Loop DFS and Loop specifically, mm -hmm. uh, we are a lifestyle enabling app. Mm -hmm. So what we do is try to connect our customers to the right solutions that mm -hmm. enable them to live out their lifestyles. Mm -hmm. And just to make sure that we were able to do this the best way, mm -hmm. we ran a lot of research and a lot of conversation, had a lot of conversations with our mm -hmm. customers. Mm -hmm. And something that came out clearly was mm -hmm. that our customers were very conscious about not only their financial well-being, mm -hmm. but also their physical mm -hmm. and, 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 and just general well-being, eh? just emotional, social, and they were very conscious about their impact to the environment. Mm -hmm. And something that kept on coming up mm -hmm. is cycling. Mm -hmm. So we saw, we saw it fit to mm -hmm. actually start strategically mm -hmm. investing in this particular sport. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, as you are well aware, if you drive around Nairobi nowadays, you'll see there's a very huge growing movement of cyclists. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this target audience is right at the heart of the people we engage mm -hmm. with. Yes, indeed. And as, as, as we... As the number of uh, cyclists increase in the country, you know, there is always the problem of uh, people outpacing the, the policy makers, you know. Mm -hmm. And in this case, uh, making sure that the conditions are conducive for the cyclists, you know, it could be competitive or yeah. not, right? Yeah. How does this, uh, how, how do you see it from where you, you, you are? So uh, that's actually something which is, was at the very top of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of the things that we wanted to, 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 to actually look at. Uh. Uh -huh. Cycling, let's be honest, Kenya is not a very cyclist-friendly nation. And uh, we needed to figure out a way to actually solve for this mm -hmm. in, the, in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, by one, making sure that the cycling culture starts getting ingrained mm -hmm. into our general culture mm -hmm. as a people, mm -hmm. but also making sure that when we actually put together mm -hmm. opportunities for people to go and cycle mm -hmm. together as a group, they do so in a very well coordinated and very well put together manner, making mm -hmm. sure that one, they are outside of mm -hmm. uh, risk areas, mm -hmm. but then also if anything were to happen, mm -hmm. you have the right uh, things in place to, uh, to, to make sure that we respond in the best way. Mm -hmm. One of the main things I'd like to mention is that the kind of cycling we are trying to bring to the fore mm -hmm. is uh, something we call gravel cycling. Yes. So gravel cycling uh, in, in Swahili, uh, we'll call it kokoto. Uh -huh. So it's, it's very close to uh, off-road. Eh? So think about your dirt tracks. Eh? Most of us, when you're growing up uh, and you had your bike, uh -huh. you'd be riding your bike through the village or you're riding through these dirt maram tracks. Uh -huh. That's pretty much what uh, gravel cycling is. Yes. So what this, happen, uh, what, what this does uh, yeah. when we start encouraging people to take on more of gravel, uh, gravel mm. cycling. Mm -hmm. yeah? We start moving people away from the very busy roads and hectic roads that we have mm -hmm. on tarmac. Mm -hmm. And people start actually going into spaces where they're not competing for space mm -hmm. where with cars. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that the entry point for mm -hmm. gravel cycling mm -hmm. is far much lower. Mm -hmm. So you can actually come in and with your normal mountain bike mm -hmm. and just get into the truck mm -hmm. and start racing. Mm -hmm. And then you build up from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, um, a number of events uh, have been organized. That's in Iten, yes. as well as in Kiambu, right? Yes, it, yes. Yeah. At, um, yeah, in Kambu, a tattoo is, city, yes. yes. And also, last week, uh, two weeks ago, it yes. happened in uh, Hell's Gate in yes, Ivasha. And that was a big event. And what, at, what was at stake for the riders? So, uh, yeah, right for you uh, put it uh, perfectly. Yeah? So we started this journey in uh, February uh, this mm -hmm. year. So mm -hmm. our very first event was on the 4th of February mm -hmm. in Tattoo City. Mm -hmm. um, this was a new frontier for us and uh, the turnout at Tattoo really mm -hmm. encouraged us. Mm -hmm. uh, we had over 550 cyclists mm -hmm. actually sign up and take, uh, take, uh, take part in this mm -hmm. event mm -hmm. and over a thousand spectators mm -hmm. showed up just to have a nice good feeling, mm -hmm. uh, a nice good mm -hmm. time and cheer on their people. Uh, fast forward to E10 where we moved uh, to now uh, uh, Elgeo Marakwet County 
and there we had a more tactical uh, uh, tactical uh, uh, track that people would uh, get into or rather would uh, participate into and this particular track had a lot of professional riders actually uh, engaging in and most recently this is uh, the race that we just did um, a couple of weeks back uh, was Naivasha so Naivasha is special in that it was a UCI accredited event uh, UCI is basically the governing, the international governing body mm -hmm. for cyclists. Mm -hmm. uh, so picture uh, someone like uh, FIFA for soccer, mm -hmm. the UCI is the FIFA equivalent for cyclists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Naivasha leg of the Loop Safari Gravel series mm -hmm. um, basically was a UCI endorsed leg. Mm -hmm. uh, this basically means mm -hmm. that those mm -hmm. who participated professionally mm -hmm. uh, in this particular leg had the opportunity to actually mm -hmm. earn points mm -hmm. uh, to compete mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, global gravel um, uh, title, for yes. the global gravel uh -huh. title. Uh -huh. So uh, specifically for uh, Naivasha as well, we had a lot of international participants. Uh -huh. We had over 90 people who came from all over the world. So uh -huh. this coming as far out as Europe, mm -hmm. Asia, mm -hmm. the Americas, mm -hmm. just to participate in this particular leg of the race. Yes, and what would you think about the depth of talent that we you know, you've come in contact with uh, through these three events. Yeah, so I, I'd say uh, as Kenya, we are blessed with amazing, amazing opportunity and talent mm -hmm. and potential. Mm -hmm. um, we are known for only athletics right now. Yes. But what we've noticed is that we have a lot of other sports that we can actually invest in. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that's actually one of the main mandates that we're trying to, uh, to, to solve for. Uh. Mm -hmm. um, We've seen people who are now taking on global uh, um, uh, professional riders. Yes. Uh, we have like uh, people like jo uh, Schleck, who yeah. is representing Kenya mm -hmm. across the, the Americas and mm -hmm. winning great titles mm -hmm. there. And this now goes deeper into the communities. Mm -hmm. What I'd say has lacked in the past is people actually investing in this uh, particular um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sporting activities. Mm -hmm. uh, but now what we're trying to come in and do is start tapping in these growing talents mm -hmm. and creating an environment where if you're a rider, maybe mm -hmm. in uh, Iten, mm -hmm. you're young, you, you've gotten on, uh, on top of your bike mm -hmm. and you, you know you have the grit mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to actually compete mm -hmm. with global uh, players. Mm -hmm. We are starting to create an environment where you can actually achieve that dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's the motivation for this? So for us, it's, it's growth. Huh? Uh, as a business, again, uh, Loop, uh, we are all about enabling our customers live out their lifestyles mm -hmm. and uh, achieve growth. Mm -hmm. So as first and foremost, a financial service, mm -hmm. we've tried to do that and we continue to do that with financial growth. So mm -hmm. enabling our customer to do that. But now we are going deeper. Yes. It's not just about the finances. Uh -huh. It's about your lifestyle. Uh -huh. So you, you're more than just the money. It's about your family. Uh -huh. How are you connecting your family? Uh -huh. How are you connecting your community? Mm -hmm. So. For us, mm -hmm. that is the motivating factor. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that as a business, when mm -hmm. we operate in the different communities that we serve, mm -hmm. we are making sure that the people that we are engaging with, the people that we are servicing, are actually growing. Mm -hmm. And we are actually able to give them an opportunity to nurture their talent and achieve what they truly, truly, truly mm -hmm. need to, mm -hmm. to, to, to achieve. And indeed, um, having a CEO who is a cyclist yes. is, is a big motivation as well. Yes, 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 it is. And uh, it's, it's interesting that uh, our CEO is very passionate about cycling. Uh -huh. He's been doing it for over 10 years. Uh, but I think uh, at, uh, at, at the office, most of us are actually cyclists. <laughs> so a lot of the guys, we have uh, an in-house in cycling team. Uh -huh. it's partici they've participated in all the races. Uh -huh. And we have a lot of activities that basically go around cycling. Uh -huh. And that's why you, you notice it was very, uh, very, very, it, it, it was an easy thing for us to get into, uh -huh. to get the right people to partner with, uh -huh. because we are passionate about it. We are not just doing it because of the vibe. Uh -huh. It's actually a passion point for us. Uh -huh. yeah. And now you decide to partner with Team Amani, one of the top riders in the region. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So Team Amani have been instrumental to basically uh, us being uh, having the kind of success that we've, we've had. Mm -hmm. um, they are basically uh, a, a team of professional riders mm -hmm. who compete across the world. Mm -hmm. So this particular partnership mm -hmm. started 
as conversations uh -huh. a couple of months back. Uh -huh. And uh, we saw that we had things that we actually uh, could complement uh, each other on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's why we actually came together to just put together this series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a four-part, uh, four-leg series, uh -huh. uh, starting with um, Tattoo, uh -huh. then Iten, uh -huh. uh, Naivasha. Uh -huh. And then on the 24th of August this, uh -huh. month, uh, this year, we uh -huh. are closing it off in Vipingo. Uh -huh. In yes. Vipingo, right? Yes, yes. How many riders maybe do you expect and what will be, will they be still battling for positions in the world, uh, for the world uh, yeah. championship? So uh, looking at what we've seen, uh, on average we have uh, 400 to 450 riders mm -hmm. coming in. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Tatu and uh, Naivasha were, were highest, uh, uh, we had, it's where we had the highest number of riders. And we expect to see a lot more mm -hmm. guys coming through, not only just riders, but even spectators. Because mm -hmm. uh, we are taking it beyond just the riding. Yes. We usually set up a, a village where people interact with each other. People get to learn more about cycling. You get to learn more about loop. You also just start building a thriving community mm -hmm. that makes sure that uh, you as a cyclist, you have a support system. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and apart, you know, maybe... Uh, getting Kenyan uh, Kenyan riders, you know, yeah. through this series to the top yeah. of their um, their careers, yes. you know, will be one of the successes of uh, the Loop Gravel Safaris, right? Yes. But right now, how do you enumerate your success? So right now, uh, basically, we look at uh, first and foremost, how many people are we able to bring back to the different legs? Huh? <laughs> so uh, for uh -huh. us having people who are committed to the series uh -huh. is very important because uh -huh. these are people who are giving you your t their time. Uh -huh. They're actually putting in the training because you just don't wake up in the morning and start riding a mm -hmm. bike. Mm -hmm. They're actually doing the training. They're actually putting themselves together mm -hmm. as actual well-organized teams. Mm -hmm. And for us, that's one of the main things that we are actually looking to measure from a KPI's perspective. Mm -hmm. How many professional riders are we able to get uh, up and running uh -huh. and actually give them the supporting environment for uh -huh. them to actually start competing globally. Uh -huh. On top of that, uh, for us, cycling is not just only a sport and a lifestyle. Uh -huh. It's also one of the main pillars uh, uh -huh. when it comes to sustainability for uh -huh. us. Uh -huh. So uh, we are passionate about um, rehabilitating uh, waterways uh -huh. and basically making sure that uh, the environment that uh, we operate in uh, stays um, uh, stays or, or stays optimum mm -hmm. for everyone for mm -hmm. our future generations. Mm -hmm. So that's the other way that we are looking at uh, just measuring our success, mm -hmm. just making sure that everywhere we go, mm -hmm. we leave it better than we left. Uh, we found it. So mm -hmm. planting trees, uh, trying to find what are the different streams and waterways that existed in these locations mm -hmm. that we can actually help to mm -hmm. rehabilitate and mm -hmm. bring them back mm -hmm. to their former glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe do you do you also look at it as um expanding out beyond the Af Kenyan borders? Yes, yes, yes. So our visions are, are bigger. So um, I, 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 we've, we've, uh, we've only started. For us, this is the first year we are doing it. Mm -hmm. And we believe that we can actually take this across Africa. Mm -hmm. So currently, as Loop DFS, we are mm -hmm. present in at least six African markets. Mm -hmm. So Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, mm -hmm. Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. and just most recently, Ghana. Mm -hmm. For us, these are markets that we really want to start exporting. Uh, exposing uh -huh. uh, the, the cycling uh, uh -huh. sporting too uh -huh. uh, and just making sure that as we grow um, the loop brand uh -huh. here uh -huh. we are also exporting it and uh -huh. all the things that complement that brand uh -huh. outside uh -huh. yeah yes and of course having worked with it with the cyclists uh, closely uh, during these particular events what are some of the unique uh, ideas that you've gotten from them that's really if put in place, yeah. they can, you know, they can make it better. Yeah, so uh, something I'd say is that uh, I've come to learn that Kenyans are very open with feedback. Eh? So um, as we started this um, uh, this journey, we, we started gathering feedback. So mm -hmm. one of the main things that we do after every single race, mm -hmm. we request everyone who participates to just give us feedback. Mm -hmm. And ways that uh, the, the cyclists have actually gotten back to mm -hmm. us in mm -hmm. ways that we can actually improve mm -hmm. is uh, first and foremost by making sure that them getting to the different locations uh -huh. is made easy uh -huh. and convenient. Uh -huh. So we, we've started trying to find partners that uh -huh. basically help them out in terms of uh, logistics, uh -huh. moving your bike from Nairobi uh -huh. to uh, E10, moving uh -huh. your bike from Nairobi to Vipingo, uh -huh. uh, as well as Nairobi to uh, Naivasha. Uh -huh. So we, 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 we go out and uh, source partners who can actually offer these services. Uh -huh. A second thing is um, one of the things that, is uh, that has come on very strongly uh, mm -hmm. in the last couple of uh, times that we've done this is mm -hmm. that teams that come together mm -hmm. uh, really don't have the support 
supporting financial structures mm -hmm. to make sure that mm -hmm. they're able to train and to, to move around. Mm -hmm. And this basically speaks to uh, a lot of the corporates who would invest in traditional sports that are, uh, that, that are well. known within <laughs> Kenya. Uh, so what we're trying to do is to start creating an environment where cycling as a sport uh -huh. is now becoming more attractive to uh -huh. corporates. Uh -huh. So a corporate comes uh -huh. in uh, and uh, basically invests in a team uh -huh. and they come in and uh, participate in the series. Uh -huh. At the end of it all, what we're trying to achieve is to make sure that when you speak about Kenya, mm -hmm. you don't only speak about athletics. Mm -hmm. You speak about Kenya mm -hmm. as a cycling yes. destination. Yeah, and of course, they've been Kenya has been on the map before. Yeah. Remember, Froome mm. did it well. You know yes, how yes, an inspiration yes. is such stories. You know, it yes. means it, it, there's depth. There is it's possible. Yes, there mm -hmm. is, and uh, we we've actually worked with a lot of. All the, uh, a lot of this old guard uh -huh. and uh, guys who've uh -huh. actually taken Kenya to the map to uh -huh. just make sure that they're giving us the pointers and giving us the guidelines uh -huh. in, in which we can actually make sure that our targets as a business uh -huh. and uh, also our target uh, from just transforming the uh -huh. sport of cycling uh -huh. in Kenya uh -huh. are actually uh -huh. met. Uh -huh. yeah. Akina Kinja and, and, yes. and the rest, right? Yes, yes. How, 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 how crucial is their knowledge and experience? It's, uh, I'd say it's, 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 uh, it's, you cannot even measure it because mm -hmm. they've been in this for years. Uh, they know a lot of what, uh, chal a lot of the challenges that uh, cyclists will face. Mm -hmm. They know the challenges when it comes to just the logistics, the financial headache, mm -hmm. and they understand the need mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in when it comes to people who are participating in this sport. Mm -hmm. So we speak to them, we engage them, mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 we interact with them, mm -hmm. uh, and we go beyond just the people who've been, been in this. Mm -hmm. We go now to the clubs. Mm -hmm. So we have a very active and thriving uh, yes. club yeah. environment, uh -huh. uh, different clubs who uh -huh. are taking on uh, ride, right. rides uh, uh -huh. during the weekend, uh -huh. and they are actually going to participate uh, on rides across Africa. Uh -huh. So we actually invite them in. So just before um, uh, the, the Naivasha event, uh -huh. uh, we had a very, very engaging uh, cocktail for all the chairmen and uh -huh. the captains for, uh, for the clubs. Uh -huh. uh, and we got very good feedback in terms of how can we support them? Uh -huh. How can we start engaging with them? Because this is where now, when it comes to professional riding, mm -hmm. this is where it starts. Mm -hmm. You come in as an enthusiast rider, mm -hmm. you come in just looking at, uh, 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 trying, trying out the sport, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you, you get a supporting community within the clubs. Mm -hmm. That's why we start. We started engaging uh -huh, with the clubs because right. this is where you'll find people who are really passionate about it, uh -huh. and then you take them and you nurture that talent and you take it now into a professional, yes. professional. Sport. Yes, and of course, in the five countries or so that um, you've begun same program like what you're doing here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What uh, maybe what are the uh, the unique challenges that you face? So we we haven't really exported this uh, across uh -huh. Kenya. Uh -huh. Again, this is the very first year that we've done it. Uh -huh. So for us, we are taking this year as uh, first and foremost a learning year. Mm -hmm. just to mm -hmm. first and foremost position mm -hmm. uh, the series mm -hmm. as a, a series that is actually of interest to people who are passionate about cycling. Mm -hmm. And then as we grow this series, mm -hmm. we, our, our vision is to start having more in uh, more, 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 more people taking part in this. Mm -hmm. And then as the series grows, mm -hmm. uh, we are looking at even exporting it mm -hmm. if possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. And of course, Kenya, Kenya always um, missing out on the Olympic qualifications. Mm. Could that be one of the targets that you want to see for, for the riders, local riders? Yeah, so uh, what I can say, uh, vision, our vision is, is grand. Uh, for us, making sure that we have a team that can actually go represent the nation uh -huh. and have positioned the nation in the global scale uh -huh. is going to be amazing for uh -huh. us. Uh -huh. uh, but it takes, uh, it's, it's, it, it, it all comes in time. Uh -huh. So this is the first step, uh, just coming in, putting together well-organized, well-curated events uh -huh. to make sure that um, there's an environment that encourages people uh -huh. to participate in cycling. Uh -huh. uh, our target is, as we start doing this, uh -huh. we get the learnings, we get more and more people coming uh -huh. in to participate. Uh -huh. And then, as this progresses, then you start getting people who are actively now going out there and representing the nation mm -hmm. at, the, at a global level. Yes, yes, yes. and of course, Loop, uh, as is now getting involved, what's the continuity now? Yes. So for us, uh, as Loop, uh, it's it's more of a, it's a long-term partnership for mm -hmm. us. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, um, I, 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 I mentioned it earlier on. So Loop, our main purpose is to complement our customers' mm -hmm. lifestyle, is mm -hmm. to enable our customers mm -hmm. to live out the best lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this through now this cycling activity. Mm -hmm. But then also, when it comes to now things like getting the gear, 
Yes. So Loop has been in the market for the last five, six years. Uh -huh. And um, we've been, uh, we are the pioneer financial bank uh -huh. at that time, uh -huh. but we've, repos uh, we've repositioned the brand uh -huh. from being a digital financial service uh -huh. into being what we call a platform, a lifestyle enabling platform. Uh -huh. So this means that uh, Loop goes beyond just helping you make uh -huh. payments. Uh -huh. It starts with understanding what do you as Bernard uh -huh. like to do. Uh -huh. uh, you look, you're into cycling, uh -huh. uh, you like uh, going out for rides. Uh -huh. So how do we then connect you with the right people uh -huh. who can start giving you the gear? Uh -huh. So these are merchants. Yes. So you want to buy a bike. Uh, our vision on Loop, you should be able to come into Loop, uh -huh. open the app uh -huh. and find great deals and discounts that uh -huh. basically speak to what you uh -huh. like to do from uh -huh. a passion point. Uh -huh. When it comes now to managing your finances, because uh -huh. again, uh, when you start getting into the, the professional side of yeah. things, money things is become, yes. uh, money is involved, mm -hmm. it's uh, quite, uh, uh, quite hefty. Yes. So when it comes to managing your finances, mm -hmm. Loop as a lifestyle enabler enables you to first and foremost mm -hmm. manage all of your banks mm -hmm. under one app. Mm -hmm. This means that you can take your normal uh, card, mm -hmm. your normal, uh, mm -hmm. let me call it a debit card, mm -hmm. your ATM, they call it uh, in Kenya ATM cards. Uh, yeah. You can literally take your card and link it to Loop mm -hmm. and you'll be able to move money from that bank, mm -hmm. whatever bank it is, mm -hmm. into Loop mm -hmm. seamlessly, mm -hmm. securely mm -hmm. and at very affordable rates. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your traditional payments, mm -hmm. you go to a shop, you're mm -hmm. trying to uh, buy uh, maybe a helmet, mm -hmm. Uh, what Loop does for you, it enables you to mm -hmm. actually pay from Loop mm -hmm. into whatever uh, ecosystem or whatever mm -hmm. um, uh, payment service that the, mm -hmm. uh, that the, that the shop attendant mm -hmm. is using. Mm -hmm. So whether it's going to be mobile money mm -hmm. or a bank-based uh, mm -hmm. platform, yeah? mm -hmm. Loop then en enables you to do that mm -hmm. just from your Loop app. Mm -hmm. But if you need support, maybe mm -hmm. you've gone there, the helmet costs 50,000 mm -hmm. bob, mm -hmm. and uh, you only have uh, 20. Mm -hmm. Loop enables you to get mm -hmm. the credit mm -hmm. or the loan that mm -hmm. you need, uh, whether it's an overdraft mm -hmm. or a long-term loan. Mm -hmm. And you're able then to pay for it mm -hmm. and move on. Yes. yes. And does also Loop maybe help riders with... Um, uh, getting the latest information on the latest technology in, in, in cycling? Yes, so that's where, uh, where, that's where now the, the series comes in. Uh -huh. So you, we've enabled you to get all your gear. Uh -huh. We've enabled you to find all the deals uh -huh. and discounts. Now, when you come to the series, mm -hmm. it's not just about the race. It's mm -hmm. not just about uh, getting onto the track. Mm -hmm. it, there's also a village that basically enables you mm -hmm. to come and interact with mm -hmm. other cyclists. Mm -hmm. We bring in uh, vendors and some of the top providers mm -hmm. for cycling mm -hmm. uh, uh, merchandise mm -hmm. and gear there. Mm -hmm. So there you'll find people from um, uh, bike sellers to gear sellers to clubs, to mm -hmm. communities, to teams. Mm -hmm. And there you're able to understand mm -hmm. what are the best technologies that you as mm -hmm. a rider mm -hmm. can start getting. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it goes beyond just the track mm -hmm. and uh, the app. Now you start actually experiencing loop mm -hmm. physically mm -hmm. through the series. Mm -hmm. And there now the community helps you to build your game. It mm -hmm. helps you to uh, get the right gear, get the right support. And you end up yeah. So loop basically is here to link up the... Um, cyclists yeah. with you know latest technology and help them kickstart their careers you know yeah. seamlessly yes, but yes. what kind of challenges do you think riders encounter on the gravel so uh challenge again gravel and like road, uh, road uh, uh, surface yeah. uh, tarmac uh, surfaces yes, uh, yes. it's a little bit unpredictable yeah? mm -hmm. so tarmac it's smooth smooth sailing mm -hmm. the, the worst thing you can see you can get is a portal mm -hmm. but on gravel you can get anything. So mm -hmm. you're actually riding off uh, mm -hmm. on, 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 uh, on, mm -hmm. on, on loose track. Uh. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of it. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll actually, it's unpredictable, mm -hmm. it's, it's exciting, it keeps you on toes, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. it's pure genuine fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and also uh, maybe as we wind up, you picked really nice places, picture, picturesque yes. uh, 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 venues yes. for, for the series, especially in the world famous um, Hell's Gate, right? Yes, yes. How does this ogre well and uh, support your vision? Mm -hmm. So uh, again, for us, it's basically helping to place uh, Kenya in the global scale. Mm -hmm. So the sites that we've picked to host our different events mm -hmm. are very are picked strategically. We want to showcase Kenya as a cycling destination, mm -hmm. not just as what we are traditionally known for, mm -hmm. for wildlife and uh, other things. Yes. We want to make sure that when Kenya is mentioned in the global scale, mm -hmm. guys mm -hmm. know 
okay, great. I want to ride. I can ride. Uh, uh, we are calling it riding, riding in the city. Mm -hmm. So this is what we had in Kiambu. Mm -hmm. When you go to Iten, mm -hmm. you ride in the rift. Mm -hmm. You see all the different uh, picturesque uh, images that you have yes. in Iten. Uh -huh. When you go to uh, Naivasha, uh -huh. we call it ride in, uh, ride in the wild. Mm -hmm. And then finally, mm -hmm. when you go to Vipingo, mm -hmm. you ride at the beach. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So the next event will be on August 24th. So August 24th, mm -hmm. uh, we are hosting uh, the next uh, leg, leg of the seas mm -hmm. uh, in Vipingo. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are we are we are inviting everyone to come through. Mm -hmm. um, uh, download loop, follow all the action. Yes. Uh, make sure that uh, you, you 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 stay tuned. Follow us on our pages so that you don't miss any update. We are just about to switch on registration in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Inviting and how many riders? And how many categories? So we have. Uh, three main rides. Yes. So we have a 20 kilometer loop. Yes. This is more for guys who are starting out, uh -huh. guys who are just want to, uh, trying to try it out. Uh -huh. And then you have a 60 kilometer loop. Uh -huh. This is now for the enthusiasts. Uh -huh. So a lot of the uh, clubs will take part in this. Uh -huh. And then we have what we call the professional 120 kilometer uh -huh. loop. So this is 120 kilometers of pure gravel cycling. And uh, we encourage our customers to come in. Usually we, we, we we will charge the race will basically cost 1500 just yes, for the for race the entry, only right? uh -huh. for the entry mm -hmm. but you, if you if you'd like to have race plus something to eat maybe a meal after mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. we charge you 2500 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. yes but at the end of it all you have access to the full village uh -huh. uh, after the race you come sit down enjoy the community mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a, it's a family friendly environment have fun Enjoy. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Stephen Karaoke, Head of Brands and Communication from uh, Loop DFS, shedding light on what Loop Gravel Safari is all about. Actually, it's just exposing Kenyan cyclists to the best of the best and also help them get their careers moving. And maybe one day we'll have another from, you know, like uh, who will represent Kenya at the Olympics and maybe conquer Tour de France one day. You never know. Thank you so much, Stephen, for gracing Touchline. Thank you so and much. And we wish you all the best. Up next will be all about Fanzone. Keep watching Touchline.